Hello, assalamu alaikum guys. Welcome to my channel. My name is Ami Job and I am talking to you from Scotland, but I am from the Gambia, West Africa. Excuse my voice, people. Again, doing an early morning video. So, yeah, today we're going to be reacting to Baba Just video. Who is the guy who interviewed the guy who did the Facebook live? What man and woman thingy? people do on facebook last week and the whole community is still going insane about that so yeah there's this gambian uh comedian slash politician or supporting the government person who also does video who is from gambia called babaja but his youtube name is Sirin Chapacholi. you will say it down here if you want to follow his channel so um he did an interview with this guy that this young gambian guy that did this thing you know this insane thing that our community you know never seen before so um then he come back again today sorry yesterday saying that people should not attack this guy like they're attacking him hmm i understand some people are attacking this guy too much to be honest, you know, I've, ne I've not seen all the videos, but I know some people are going like too harsh with him, you know, like, hmm. But some people are condemning his behavior. It's not because they're going too harsh. Like, you know, they, they're not going too harsh. And they're also condemning it to make it clear for him and the rest of us for a reason. Okay, I understand what he's saying that people have to be there for this guy. But I also don't understand him himself. Simply because this guy is somebody that always dancing on Facebook. When people naked pictures are out or naked videos. He's barber sending in, calling, people calling on his soul, laughing at these people. He did it to one of the women also. Simply because that woman is in the opposition party. Her naked pictures was out. I don't want to mention her name. And he was dancing, laughing, bullying her, proper bully. People calling on his soul, bullying this woman. And now from nowhere, this man seeing that people should not condemn this guy's behavior. And then he also condemned the guy's behavior after he said that. My voice. Sorry for my voice. When I just woke up in the morning, it's like this. Cool. Cause I've not been speaking like since I woke up. So um, so himself condemning these other people and laughing at them when he's condemning them, totally bullying them. Like when I'm talking about naked pictures or like naked videos, okay, that are let out, you know. And because the, our community, this is a big theme for someone naked pictures to be out or naked videos. We all know Africans how we are. And this, this gay thing is also a back thing. He also condemned it. He even condemned it in this video. And then saying that people should not condemn it. Okay, but I, I tried to get what he mean. There was, a, there was a point that he was making saying that people condemning him so harsh. They shouldn't do that. Yeah, when people condemning him, like insulting him, like insult condemn because i know i've not seen all the videos but i am sure there's some videos that people are gonna insult him like insult his mother his father i know africans especially gambian how they can easily insult to be honest so um if that's what he mean that's wrong but if he's just saying that people should not condemn him because why i think that he's saying people should just not condemn him and he's condemning him himself condemning him the worst way anyway because he's condemning him and then he's saying that this guy is not well he keep repeating that saying this guy is not well. I'm going to try to play some, some of the video you'll see. And when he interviewed the guy two days ago, the guy said that I'm not, when he tried to tell the guy that, <clears throat> when he tried to tell the guy that I think you're not well for your behavior, I don't think you're normal for doing this because maybe you, you come from the, the, the back way, you'd come through the ocean to Italy or whatever, you know. So maybe you've seen something in the ocean that confused you, that traumatized you. And the guy said, no, it's not that at all. It's just I, I went there and I was drinking a couple of glasses of wine 
and then I end up sniffing some, some cocaine there and then I end up doing the stupid thing. He said that first in the interview and then he also turned it around and said that this woman, this drag queen woman drug him. I'm like, you already said that you've been drinking some wine, some three, four glasses of wine and then you sniff some cocaine. That's enough for you to do any stupid thing. So how are you now saying that Sima put something in the wine? And also, he also then, then was when he was doing the Facebook live with this with this transgender man having sex on the Facebook live, he was totally well. He wasn't drunk. He was telling this transgender woman that you have a lot of viewers. Look at the amount of viewers you have. Someone who is drunk can, 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 can know that you have a lot of viewers, can see the tiny numbers of the viewers. So he did this. This is insane. It's a life mistake or whatever. Or just because he wanted a visa or whatever. But it's still something that we are going to condemn. We didn't we didn't tell him to find a barrage, you know, the, 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 no, someone like me. I condemned it, but I didn't tell him to find a barrage. I, I end up telling him at the end of the video that don't allow this to ruin you. Move on. Prove to the public and yourself and to your family that you can do better. This is something that you can use it in a positive way to get better life. But I didn't say it like, you know, like find a barrage, da, 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 you know, like. I know this, this gating is beyond just how some of us, is, you know, see it. So I try to tell him that <clears throat> even if you're gay or not, you cannot just come to Facebook Live having sex so you can use the video to, to get a, a visa and say that when I go back to my country, they'll kill me. <clears throat> and then this man then is saying that a lot of people here do so many things to get visa. <clears throat> I know that I already said this in that video. So he's like, a lot of people here do so many things to get visa. So now why are you condemning this? Why are you guys condemning this person behavior? So now we should start having sex on Facebook Live to get visa too. Anyway, let's listen to him. Insane. 12 a.m. But most of us, be instead of we pray for Suleiman, we are calling him name. We are calling him name. Modo Balcon, the Alba in Gambia. Al came Alba Munna to Babu Dujan. What your husbands are doing here is only Almighty God who knows how they get papers. I'm a Suturo Mela. To Babu Dujan, we can't wool it. Abebu Kasata. Can't wool it to Babu Dujan. Abebu Kasata. Take it to Babu Dujan. Can't wool it. Yeah, Jale. At a a a a a model be a new alien on the way we are living here. Ah, uh, some of them tell from Al. Hey, sometimes I leave my house. From uh, uh from uh eleven o'clock in the morning. Sometimes ten o'clock in the morning. I used to come back home like uh twelve a.m. because I'm at work and I'm stuck there. There's nobody to relieve me. See, system only be young. So we don't want to understand. To Abdulja, you can fucked up. The system young, it can make you fucked up. System only be young. Young Sumia Katinella, because of the cold, some people, their brain are not working. This frozen cold, this uh, mobile brain, we can handle no. Mobile brain, can handle no. Let's show uh, 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 our brother uh, 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 love. Okay, let's show him respect. Okay, and then, you know, let's pray for him. When you are sitting there, Sako Dumatol Musolo. I do one year. Musolo can do one year. Musolo. Mwale nyata ka fenke, a mwale nyata ka jale tabari, musoma nyata ka jale. Katu muso nyin kono, a bela ka taraji. Muso leka wuliyo wulu, muso leka din kendo wulu, muso leka din furunga wulu, muso leka dungo sifabe wulu. Wana muso le nyata ka hakile roka tambikit. Kebu ka konoma. Muso leka konoma. Kebu ka konoma. Binin dungo beti yade ka jama alefo, ika balefo. Exactly. So what he's saying there is that he's saying that the woman should be the number one person to not laugh at this, this guy for his behavior and they should pray for him. Because they don't know what their children uh, will be in the future. Sorry, trying to fix this camera. Seeing because the women don't know what their children will be in the future. And that the women should not laugh at this matter. Of course, that's true. No one is laughing at this matter. Well, me, my part, I'm not, I'm not laughing at the matter. But I know some people do, might do videos and laughing. And I know, I know our community. And this is beyond laughing. But 
because the woman is the one that can give back any kind of person this is why the woman have to stand so tall to tell their children the things that is humiliate is going to humiliate them and humiliate the culture especially things that our religion do not agree to you say that we supposed to pray and this man too you know that he need help because europe is not easy da, da, da. he also was saying that uh, you know that 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 in europe here it's not easy people do some more some dirty things to get money and stuff and that this man was maybe doing this to get money we never know of course we know that nowhere is easy in this world to get money even africa but if we are just talking about the community, trying to help the community to heal and to get better and to learn self-dignity, self-love, self-value, self-worth, to stop risking it all for a basket, hmm? then we cannot just watch the community <clears throat> to risk it all or for a basket for money. If we are going to watch the community do that, then we shouldn't be bothered trying to, to, to advise the community or condemn the community when they're doing other things that is not helping the community. Okay, because the woman is the mother who people will insult. He also said that when the child is a good child, people will say the mother was a good mother. That's why. And when the child did anything bad, people will blame the mother. Exactly. Exactly why, why the women are talking, especially the ones, the ones that are taking this matter serious. Because our culture choke the woman to be harsh on their children. Even the men too. But it's more of the woman. Why African women are the way they are is a reason behind it. Whenever the child do anything bad, they will say it's the mother who was a bad mother. That's why. The mother didn't go, was, wasn't a good mother to the husband, wasn't respecting the husband, wasn't loving and listening to the husband. Just wasn't, was, it's not a good mother. She must be doing something bad secretly. That's why it's, it's, so, of, it's, so, it's, it's, it's so, you know, on her child. This is an African saying. I don't know other countries, but Gambia and Senegal. If the child do anything good, they say, oh, the mother was a good mother. That's why. She must be doing something good. That's why. Look at her child. The whole nation, the whole Gambia and Senegal is known for this. Which is why whenever we do something bad or something assuming, our mothers are so depressed and so assumed they cannot even leave the house. Some of them want to die. And we know this. This is why whenever we see some, some behavior that our culture don't like it and our culture is going to use it to insult our mothers and our aunties and our entire generation, which he said in this video. This is why we are going to continue talking about it. Especially when it's something that Allah doesn't like. Things like this kind of thing or alcohol or all this thing. Doesn't matter if it's something that you did yourself, for example, or something that you experienced or something someone close to you experienced. You're still going to have to talk about it. Even if people are going to insult you. The reason why the community is the way it is. It's the way we are condemning the community the wrong way. We like to condemn the community this, this, this and this. And condemn this, condemn and not condemning this. Because if you condemn this and that, people will be angry or da, da, da. You cannot help people and, and, and only say what they want to hear. He also said that. I'm going to play, I'm going to see if I will see that video. He also said that people should be like cuddling him and like kissing him and like, not kissing him, but he said people should hug him and like pet him and tell him that everything will be fine instead of criticizing him. Of course, I know. But people like me, <clears throat> I've not seen him to cuddle him and, and hug him. Even if, I, if, even if he was here next to me, I will cuddle him and hug him and tell him, not hug, not cuddle him, but I mean hug him. <laughs> But I would tell him, look, brother, you, can, you, you cannot do this. And this is exactly what I, I was going to be more harsh if he was the same mom and dad with me. I was going to tell him the reality of our culture, the reality of our religion, and the reality of the consequences of what he, he is doing. Because the reality is with our community, when you do something bad, until you die, people will keep reminding you to insult you with it. So, then we have to protect ourselves to stop doing the something bad. And 
our community yes it's true we have to like hug each other and pet each other and tell us everything will be okay when we do something bad but as much as we have to do that we still have to be little hmm, and make us understand how bad this is simply because the petting and the giving us sweet when we do something bad doesn't work with us mm -mm. we are too african for that we're not used to that that's not how we've been raised We've been raised with every little thing. Your mother will slap you and beat you. Your father will slap you and beat you for every little thing. Then we know that this thing is bad for us to stop doing it. Now, these things have consequences. That is true. But because we are so used to when we, for us to know that what we did is wrong, is that we have to have harsh punishment. When we don't have harsh punishment, that means what we did is fine. It's not wrong enough. We're too used to that. It's in our blood. This is why a lot of us cannot be disciplined when we move abroad. Because abroad here, when you do something bad, the punishment they give you is not harsh enough. And that's the reality. A lot of us are, are, are like, when I do this, I'm still not going to get no punishment for it. What the, what, what, what's next when I do this? They're going to do this. Who cares? This is why a lot of Africans, when, a lot of us, when we come here, we don't care. That's the reality. We're not used to the nice, kind punishment. So that's why sometimes when we do something big and very serious, I'm not saying we should go insulting, deep insult like some videos some people would do, no. But we should still make the people understand that this is very wrong. And then you can still motivate them to move on, but make them understand how wrong this is. If you just tell them like, pet them on, and, 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 and give them a hug and tell them that it's fine, you know, da, 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 they will do it again and others will do it. How are you going to condemn the community like this when they're doing something back like this? And then you say at the end that what they're doing is wrong. They shouldn't do this. You know, that they shouldn't do this is wrong. And that they shouldn't do this gating or sleeping with somebody thing for on a live video or whatever, whatever. You're confusing people. And you, Babaja. Let me see if I can play your other video. You Babaya. Why the hell are you talking about this person? And seeing people should, you know, should, 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 should not condemn them harsh or should condemn them but not condemn them harsh or whatever. When you have the lot to talk about, you and your president that you're supporting that from nowhere from opposition, now you're with the president and we all know why. You're going where, where the grass is greener. Huh? And you, you Babaja. Not long ago, you come here with your hypocrite crying video, almost crying, saying that the hospital in Gambia is so bad. When you see the whole Gambians crying, dying like chicken all the time in the hospital. Everyone crying and protesting on Facebook about this. You decided to tell your president and your first lady to now, to now also try to focus on the hospital and look at the hospital. Then your first lady posts a post on her Facebook page saying that, oh, we're going to do something about this. When she doesn't care. Then the Gambians would go out in light numbers. Couple of times in one single week to protest. Even last week, I think there was another match against the amount of death people are going through in Gambia when they give him bath or just when anything happens and there's no health care. But I've never seen your first lady come out and match with those people. In any of this match to show that she care about the healthcare and that they're gonna do something about it and you're silent about that you're not tell, telling the court falsely that I condemn you for not coming out to match with these women with the amount of death that is going on in Gambia and you're talking about this this Facebook live sex sex thingy in seeing why are you so angry in your video and going crazy talking about this Facebook live sex thingy when you can use that energy to tell your your first lady to come out and find a barrack and talk to people about that stuff? But Alma Alayem be sutura. Nabara Kurungal Mbamunka Alma Alayem sutura. Nabara Kurungal Kang. Nabara Kendo Alakol Fintindi. What la hingankali Alala. Munkera Suleiman Natenga. Suleiman Mankende Yade. Suleiman Mankende Yade. Malo fa atul dun, you know, al malo dunia ka tamanya mi ba malo. 
Sulemani man kende ya. Sulemani nita mwola mwyale ba tarela eje. Watu udole amanke ko. Iba tarela a a a a a a a a. Ila friend ba duna problemo kono. Yena ya ya fai boy yajan. Nanyine foi. Boy. Karinyo le nyine fo. Boy demba. No. Ama nitu wana. He need you. Puri ya tarela abala. Ya komfortu ndi. Kana fiam fai fango. Tala abala neki ya diya mundi. Kwana Suleiman need counseling. Suleiman need somebody who is going to counsel him. Suleiman need somebody mumu ya loka aba love tandila tandala kumbading. Si jang is fine. Nato. Hey. Nato mumu ya la ala ya ala jongo ka no mata wata aba la ala ya kane. Biri Suleiman wuluta lungo minna. God says Suleiman will go through this. He said people so Suleiman is not well. He keeps saying Suleiman is not well. When he interviewed Suleiman two days ago, uh, he made me say this man's name. I don't want to see his, his, his name in the video. When he interviewed this man two days ago, this man said that. He asked this man, I think you see something in the ozone when you are coming abroad from, um, from Africa. You see something in the ozone. Because these people stay like one week in the ozone and stuff like this. Long time, some time. So some of them can be traumatized with this also that they stay in a, in this small booth and this you know open booth for days in and night day and night every time in the ocean to get to you know it's sad anyway so um so when 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 he didn't say that you know and then he didn't say that people should should like con, uh, not you know comfort him and, and tell him everything will be fine because if god said this is going to happen to you that must going to happen to you that is true. But the same God also said that we shouldn't do these things and we shouldn't even near where people are doing them. So, and you know how seeming these things are in our community. You even said it in this video. So how then you are saying that we shouldn't condemn this thing just because you choose to not condemn this particular one. You're not condemning this particular one because you want to use it to politicize. Now let's think. Let's think viewers. This man, he knows that the president is going to have an election soon next year. He knows that the president have a lot of people who are not opposed, uh, on his party, who are not supporting him because the way he's neglecting the country. Building one or two roads is not what we need. We need you to fix the health care, fix some things that we need more, you know. Give us some medicine, some, medicine, some doctors, some equipment that can cure us when we are sick instead of us dying like chicken every day. And this president went to visit some uh, some market and buy some smoke fest. This president went to visit some chicken factory, some chicken poultry factory, but he never visited any hospital since he stepped his foot in that office for over four years now, or four years now. Yeah, around four years now. So he knows that people don't like this president and he's embarrassed. But he knows his reason why he's supporting him. And now he want, he, because he knows he has a lot of followers, so he wants his followers to now support the president. That's why he's playing that he's playing the, the nice kind game. But all his followers knows that he always come on Facebook dancing when there's a naked video come out or or or, or naked picture of someone. Dancing, laughing at them, bullying them. And now from nowhere, he's saying that people should not uh, condemn this man there. And then he's condemning the man, and then he's calling the man crazy. He, he asked the man, are you crazy for doing this? Did you see something in the sea when you're coming? The man said, no, I'm not crazy. I, I, nothing happened to me. It's just a mistake because I was drunk and did a jerk. You know, make up some excuses. And he keep choking the man to be crazy. He keeps saying the man is crazy. He's not with his mind. Someone with their mind will not do this. Come on, people. This man is crazy. What did say? Why are you choking him to be crazy when he told you I'm not crazy? Anyway, you know that this man did this just to get a visa. You even say it in this video. Last thing. We cannot just wait people to do this just to get a visa coming on Facebook live having sex. Jaharan. <sighs> Find a barrage. And you, use your enemy. Tell your president to go and fix the hospital. Tell your first lady. When people marching because of the amount of people dying in Gambia, she should come out and march with them like a good first lady. Instead of you jumping on her barrage. And stop choking this man to be crazy. He told you he's not crazy. He did this because someone drugged him or whatever. 
We cannot tell him what he do is good. We know that Europe is not easy. We keep telling him the people this all the time. Even him, I told him that. We keep motivating us. Not just because Europe is not easy. We're going to do bad things. We keep trying to be good no matter what. Trying to know God. Trying to be good no matter how hard Europe is. Because Europe is easy. That's why we need that energy to, be, to, to protect us. You need to be close to your God. Why are you saying that this man learned Quran? He only went to Quran school growing up. He's a good man. There you go. So why is when people telling you Allah doesn't like this? You say people shouldn't say this. Lester. Because this man know God and he want his mother to pray for him. You said it also in this video that when we are confused, we ask our parents to pray or when something bad happened, we ask our parents in Africa to pray. There you go. Then we shouldn't do something that will give them heart attack to die. Because this man, when this thing happened, his mother have a heart attack and nearly die. You even said it in the video that his mom is not well. She's not well because of this thing that is happening here. My mom will be sick too. Now, we all know how our parents take this, this kind of thing. This is not a joke. The Facebook live sex again alone can make your mom die of, of depression. Not to mention having a sex with transgender. And you know how our community is with this. This doesn't mean that people hate people who are transgender or whatever. You condemning them in this video too. I don't think you hate them. I think maybe you just don't agree with their way of life. And this is our culture and our community don't like this. And also our dean, our Allah don't like this. Nothing can change that. This is how our culture is. You have to respect your culture value. Doesn't mean that you hate the person. If you don't agree with what they're doing, for example, someone smoking, smoking cigarette, you don't like cigarette because you know cigarette is harmful. Someone drinking, you don't like uh, 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 the alcohol because you know the consequences of it. Someone doing drugs, you don't like it because you know the consequences. Doesn't mean you hate the person. You just don't like what they're doing. So you're still going to love them, still know them even, but still have a boundaries. Know when to stop. For example, when they're smoking or they're doing their drugs, you give them their space. Let them finish doing it and then they can come back to you and talk to you, for example. You see, you cannot party with them when they're smoking and drinking and doing their drugs. You're like, yeah, man, I won't do it. It's okay, go ahead, guys. I'll just watch you. Lester, no one hate no one here. I don't know who, but me, I don't have hate for no one. That person that will make me hate you, they will not be born in this country, in this world. That person is not born yet. The person that will make me say, I hate this person purely. Oh my God, I wish them bad. <laughs> That person will never come to this world. But I learned to have self-boundaries and this saved my life. When I didn't have self-boundaries, I did stuff that I would never do now. Life boundaries. You have to have life boundaries. Knows when to stop. Especially when you have God. You cannot be in this God and you're not in it. Then just leave. Honestly, because this is a joke. You are anybody, you're not in it. You know, you're like, you're like, no, don't talk about this. No, leave this. No, no, you don't do that. You don't compromise when it comes to any religion. Tell it that like the way the religion tell you it or you leave it. Because this religion is what you are using still. Because you see that when people are, 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 have, are going through something, their mother have to pray for them. What is the mother going to pray at? Allah. The same Allah that tell you not to do these things. No matter how hard Europe is, we're still going to tell us that we have to stay strong. That's why we have to condemn us when we are doing something bad. We don't have to condemn us with insulting, like I said. But we have to condemn us so we can stay strong. Sometimes as an African person, only someone condemning you will make you stop what you are doing. That's the reality. The rest doesn't work. The oh, darling, see we have... Don't worry, everything will be fine. This is your life. We all do wrong, darling, see we have... Sometimes it doesn't work for us at all. I wish it did. I swear to God, sometimes it doesn't work for us. That's the reality. But you don't have to condemn us in a bullying, insulting way, of course. That's two different things. But condemn us in a serious matter. Give serious energy. And talk about the real truth about the damage of what they're doing. That's what works for us. And you know it. You are African. You say in your video that when you're young, your parents will beat you up every time because you were very stubborn. Did they give you sweet and tell you, see, hard, it's fine, do what you like? I don't think you will be alive now if they did. So, you know us. You condemning the community worse than anyone condemning the community. 
you're using this to politicize now because you from nowhere now you are nice don't you guys see how how babaja is faking his niceness from nowhere he's faking his niceness so people can join baro find a baro babaja tell baro to go and fix the hospitals and give us what we need instead of you faking your niceness for people to join this job for a baro slipping waste of a president politic party how dare you? No one is joining this party. This man is not doing anything apart from sleeping and his big tummy like mine. Instead of trying to fake your niceness from nowhere and, and, and condemning other people who are condemning this nightmare when you've been condemning this nightmare the whole time and then condemning this nightmare when you are telling people not to condemn it but then you still condemn it in the video trying to be kind. Find a barrage. You can tell people that don't condemn this person insulting them too much and going crazy. But don't 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 be like, why are you guys talking? You know, it's not easy. Some of us, if you know how we have money, da da da. You know, if, if you know how we have money, some of us here, and you're talking like huh, insulting us kind of a talk. We are gonna give you back it. We know you're faking your niceness just so people can join your party. We know you're trying to drag your subscriber to join your party. That's why you joined it. So you can drag people to go to Baro. That's why you're with him. I am so they call you and target you to join them. Because they know you have platform and they will look after you. I know these people. I was supporting them. I know how they do things. You don't sell your soul for money. That's why, ah, that's why you're saying that this man might be doing this for money. That people should leave him alone. He might, maybe he was doing it for money. And if he has money, that money is for Gambia. Who want this kind of money? We're going to encourage this kind of money. If you can do anything for money, does it mean that we have to encourage everybody to do anything for money? What is money? Africa, we are tired of doing everything for money. That's why we cannot develop. We have to learn self, we have to learn self dignity and learn to have money the correct way. Because you can do everything for money, which is why you're supporting this useless government that can, can never do anything. And you are here talk, talking nonsense. Find a barrage. We know who you are and how many times you bully people that their naked pictures are out and, and you're dancing, laughing at them, bullying them, telling them how her, her, her private part look like this, their private part look like this. <laughs> look at it. Yeah. And now you're here saying that people, people shouldn't bully this man there. People should be nice to him and kind and give him a hug there, give him a massage there. Go and find him and give him a massage. Find a barrage. Nothing is going to happen to this man. But he's going to learn his lesson and other people that from him, like him will learn their lesson from this and behave themselves. What the hell, man? Like I said, for me, you see my video I did for him. I didn't go harsh on him at all. But I tell him I condemn this and no one should ever come out and do this because of a visa. How the hell are we going to say this is fine? This is life. We're all finding money here the wrong way. That's fine. Then we should say everything else that we are doing in the community is fine. We should not condemn nobody. And you are the champion of condemning the community. Find a bridge, Babaja. This guy, what he did is wrong. I don't care if he did it for money, if, for, if, he, if he did it for visa. Because we don't have money, we still have to have dignity. If we don't have dignity, we are going to do, it, do every wrong thing to get money. Support the government that we're not supposed to support. Sell our soul for money. And we're still not going to have no money. You can only have money if you get it the right way. How hard it is for you to understand this. That's why half of us, our, our people are in prison. Half of our people are doing the wrong thing to get money, destroying us, making us junkies. Find the barrage, Babaja. You're pretending you're clever. You're saying that me, I know how to talk to people. Me, I'm very clever. You're far from being clever. No one is more clever than no one here. We all just talking. We all just human. What the hell? Now find the barrage. This man, no one is condemning him just because they're wicked or whatever. No, you are condemning him yourself. You're the number one person of condemning, you know, these people that, you know, this man and man thing or woman and woman thing. You condemn it all the time and people call you it. People call you gay too. That's why. That's why now, yeah. Is it because people have been calling you gay all these years? That's why now you, 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 you're confused trying to take sight and trying to not take sight or what? Find a barrage. This thing is wrong. No one is going to allow it. Our religion also don't allow it. Our mothers don't allow it. Our culture don't allow it. 
you have to have culture. You have to respect yourself and your culture and you don't compromise with it if you love yourself and your culture. Do you understand? It's not that we hate anyone or we want anyone to find a barrage. No. But when something bad like this happens, we are going to condemn it and we are going to tell our community to not continue promoting it because our mothers and our community don't like it. You yourself, you said in this video that someone called, people were calling you, you know, gay. And look at how embarrassing this is and how bad this is and why people are calling you this. Exactly. They call you it and you say you're not one, but you're so embarrassed and you don't like it. So why are we going to encourage it then? Plus that Allah don't like it. Remember the same Allah you said that people have to pray for this man. Remember, hello. Look, this is Friday. Don't make me scream here. Find a barrage with this your hypocrite talk just because you want people to vote for your hopeless president. Instead, tell him to go and fix the hospital. Give people job opportunities. Get rid of the Chinese that is ruining the country with their fixed factories. Just do all the good things we need in the country. Instead of building one or two roads and standing there with his 50 kilo rice tummy like Ami Do you understand? Don't make me come back here, Babaja. Now have a good day.